Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today I'm excited to bring you some Escape from Tarkov. This is a highly realistic multiplayer shooter from Battlestate Games. And, oh shit, okay, that was a gunshot. Uh, I'm playing some multiplayer here, and if you die in this, you lose everything you brought into multiplayer. So it's a very high risk game if you bring some high-end weapons into multiplayer and you die then those are gone whoever killed you is welcome to loot your body and hopefully extract it from the zone oh jesus okay so i'm going towards the gunfire uh, all i brought with me was one handgun and one magazine uh because i already lost some really expensive stuff earlier so i'm going to try the tactic i hear somebody moving I'm going to try the tactic of just trying to kill somebody with this and then hopefully pick up their gun if they're carrying something better. A lot of the times, though, uh, players will just come into this without carrying anything. So if I use my bullets to kill someone, something is definitely going on up here. If I use my bullets to kill someone and they don't have anything, then I might have just wasted my only mag. I think this gun has like a 15 round mag though, so hopefully that's enough to kill multiple people. Now I'm walking here because um, I don't want anyone to hear my footsteps. Sound is so freaking important and your footsteps are really loud in this. Oh, That is definitely someone down there. I'm gonna run past this next opening. Okay. I hear someone for sure. Okay, yeah. I don't want to try the pistol at long range. I believe a one-shot headshot will kill just about anybody with whatever weapon you have, but I'd rather not waste my ammo. I'm kind of banking on a close-range kill here. Someone's right. Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't want to take the shot just because if the net code got a little wonky and I missed the kill. Okay, uh, I think this is the bathroom in here. No, it's not letting me open the door. Did he lock it? Hang on, I know I can get in. Okay, here we go. Opening, oh God, he's really close. Hopefully he doesn't hear me. I'm freaking out, you die so quick in this. All right, buddy. I hear him. Yeah. Yes. I honestly, like, I didn't think this setup was going to work. Okay, now that I fired, though, I'm really worried that someone else is going to come to that gunfire. So let's... Oh, sweet. He's actually got some good gear. Most of the time, they don't carry anything. Okay, let's loot as fast as possible. Oh, uh, yeah, put his tactical rig on. I think I need to search these, though. Um, yeah, may as well take another handgun just to have... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to hide in here. Oh, this is... This is a nice gun. People usually bring shit into multiplayer, but this is pretty decent. Alright, there's a huge amount of traffic around here. I've been camping. Oh, I think they're right outside this door. Maybe downstairs? <laughs> this might be AI. I don't think players talk like this. I think there's AI in multiplayer. Another up or down, up or down, I can't tell. Look, he got me. There's a third. Holy shit. Oh. God, those death cries are freaking brutal. Alright, hopefully I can heal. I don't hear anybody else nearby. Um, oh yeah, I need to search my backpack also. 
I like that I can put on backpacks and tactical gear before searching it, because that kind of makes sense, especially if you're in a hurry, which I was. All right, he's got an AK scope, part of an SMG, two med packs. Yeah, you can totally find parts of guns in this game, which is cool. All right, I gotta use the shotgun now because I'm totally out of ammo with that AK. All right, I'm almost positive that these three guys in the hall were bots just because of the way they moved and the gear they have on them. It's not particularly great. It's kind of like standard pistol. I think I hear someone. Definitely hear someone. Come on, buddy. Guys, <laughs> those like death sounds, man. Those are, they're not joking around. I think this was a player though. He doesn't look like an AI. Um, yeah, I think this is an actual player. He's got another shotgun. I feel like shotguns make a lot of sense, especially on this map. All right, I'm not sure, but I thought I heard someone up here. Okay. Either that was a player looting that body or that was a bot that got stuck in the hall. All right, so I'm gonna cut away from the live comms a little bit, but that kind of gives you an idea of what a multiplayer round from Escape from Tarkov might be like, but that was just on uh, one of the areas called Factory, which is in that giant dark factory. And I didn't want you guys to think the whole game was like that because there's some huge outdoor environments like this one here uh, that, that look really good. Now this game is running on the Unity engine and it's probably one of the best Unity engine games I've seen so far. The developers actually have some experience with the Unity engine as they made a browser-based first-person shooter called Contract Wars, which I played a little bit of, and there's actually a video on my channel if you want to check it out. I'll put a link for that in the video description if you want to learn a little bit more about the earlier game that these guys made. Uh, it's not technically the same company or like it's sort of a branch off of the same company that made Contract Wars, but a lot of the same devs. Um, that made that game are working on this one now and some of the lore and general artwork has definitely come over from Contract War So it's kind of cool being able to see some of the origins or some of the early ideas form in that game and then carry over into this game Now as far as what type of game this is you could definitely equate it to sort of a Daisy style game highly realistic heavily punishing uh, you can go down almost instantly if you're just caught in the wrong place at the wrong time and you're fighting other players in multiplayer but there's also ai so instead of zombies there's just other i guess mercenaries trolling around this uh, abandoned city of tarkov the gunplay itself actually feels pretty darn realistic um, it would be nice to have a shooting range because learning the weapon recoil in game can be a bit punishing at times. Now, one of my favorite things about this game is the weapon modification. I don't think I've seen any other game really take weapon modding to the extent that Escape from Tarkov does. It's clear that the game designers are probably weapon owners themselves or are just very familiar with guns in general because all of the modifications and equipment is like straight from real life and it attaches very much in the way that it would in real life. So if you have a good understanding of weapons IRL, then it's going to benefit you in game. And if not, you can have a fun time sort of learning all about it. At the moment, there's a relatively small complement of weapons in the game in total, but the amount of modification and customization you can do to each of them gives them a huge amount of depth, so it doesn't really feel like the game's lacking in weaponry. Now, the world itself is impressively detailed. Again, for the Unity engine, I can't think of any other game that's really achieved this kind of graphical fidelity. Here, we're in uh, a forest, or I'm about to run into the, the depths of a forest, um, it's raining a little bit outside. The sun is peeking through the trees. Behind me is a giant power plant and uh, refinery facility. Um, and then we have those giant detailed factory buildings that you can explore in the interior as well. And you can transition between these environments seamlessly. It's really an impressive world and the sound design itself is pretty good as well. The world also has a full day-night cycle, so depending on what time you start a raid, it will affect the environment. This is actually the same map that I was just playing on with the bright sunny day. 
um, and now it is uh, dusk. So basically a very low light situation, but you can also play in the dead of night in which night vision is actually going to really help you out. And because it's alpha, I have access to a lot of this fun early game gear, but I can lose it all in multiplayer just the same. So I imagine when the actual game comes out, people are not going to have all the epic elite gear at the start. Much like some of the other survival games out there, you're going to have to go out and earn it for yourself. Anyway, the game is still very early alpha, so if you don't want to play something that's too buggy or super feature limited, you might want to wait until uh, it gets further develop before you think about uh, becoming an early adopter of this game. But I'm pretty excited about it. I think it has a lot of potential and I think it's going to capitalize on a market that really just hasn't been fully realized yet. Of course, one of the most obvious comparisons is DayZ. Aside from not having the zombie element, uh, the concept of the game is similar in a lot of ways. Uh, this one just has so much more detail and fidelity to the world that just makes it that much more immersive. And hopefully the game design was sort of the raid approach will make it a little bit more approachable for the average player compared to, say, DayZ, which is extremely punishing. This game is also punishing, but hopefully uh, more inviting at the same time. Anyway, that wraps it up for my first look at Escape from Tarkov. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.